A lot of humans have been wondering about this, so I figured I'd make a video. Welcome to the channel, human. My name is Terrence. The Ripaverse is extremely successful already off the jump. I think it has like 40 some odd days before it officially launches. But Eric July, uh, the guy who created the Ripaverse, it has already amassed $3.4 million in counting. This is a huge success. And the SJWs can't stand it. Like the weird motherfuckers with blue and purple hair, they can't stand it. But the reason why the Ripaverse is already so successful is because it doesn't have agenda. It doesn't have no fucking politics in it. None of that shit where they try to sway your way of thinking um, like what you get in recent DC and recent Marvel comic books where they got to put these goofy ass agendas on the characters that don't match. And they try to change these characters, change their sexual orientation, um, anything with like race and gender swapping or tokenized characters, meaning that you take established white characters and you make black interpretations. Any of this goofy shit is not in the Ripaverse. It's not about gender. It's not about ethnicity your religious background, or none of that shit. It's wholly irrelevant, as Eric July has stated. It's all about presenting good characters and good storytelling. So a lot of humans out there, they're just sick and tired of that shit. Like all the goofy agenda stuff, everything in the comic book world, everything in the fucking movies and the shows, they just keep pushing that shit out. And you got these clowns out there that digest this shit because they don't care about these characters and these storylines. So, of course, they're going to be okay with politics and their stuff when they race swap and they gender swap and they present tokenized characters. Of course, they're going to be okay with that shit. But real fans, we don't like that shit. We don't want it in our movies, in our shows, in our comic books. Like, get the fuck out of here with that. And in the comic book space, DC and Marvel are the two biggest brands. Obviously, you have other brands out there like Image and Dark Horse. Like, there's a whole bunch of them. And those other comic book brands, they don't have as much agenda as, say, DC and Marvel does currently. But that's not the point. The point is, is that those, the big dogs, the ones that are in the front, the majority of the time, they keep pumping out this bullshit. So I think that the Ripaverse is as, uh, as successful as it is because it does away with that bullshit. You know what I mean? It's just honest storytelling like it used to be three decades ago. You remember when you could watch a movie or a show or you could read a comic book and you didn't have to worry about all this goofy shit that they're doing in today's day and age, the stuff that they've been doing for the last several years. So Eric July, you know, I feel like he's a talented man, intelligent man, and I can't wait to read Isom number one. You know, I enjoy reading comic books. I have read them on and off throughout the course of my life. You know, Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, Image here and there. I mostly frequented Marvel and DC, but um, other brands out there got some good stuff too. And the Ripaverse is just getting started. I do believe that Eric July and the other talented individuals that he has working with him, they're going to present something special. So if you want to know why it's so successful, it's because Eric July is honest in his presentation. You don't have to feel like you're left out or any of that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about agenda. You're just there for characters and storytelling. It's simple, but it is complex in the terms of the storytelling. But there are no complexities in the ways that like as if he's trying to sway you to one side or the other on a political stance or any of that kind of nonsense. You don't have to worry about that goofy shit. You know, when you read comic books, when you watch shows and movies, it's all about, you know, getting out of reality and just relaxing and chilling and you take your mind off of it. Right. But they like to force these political agendas and stuff on these characters where it just doesn't work. You know, now they got problems with Batman and Superman and they presentation. You see all the goofy shit they've been doing in Marvel. But see, most humans don't know that, though. Because they don't read comic books. Nowadays, what humans do is they go on Google real quick. They read a couple articles and act like they know these characters and stories. Or they'll go on YouTube, watch a 10-minute video, act like they know these characters and storylines. 
they don't know a goddamn thing. They just jumping on a bandwagon because a movie or show has deemed a character popular or whatever it may be. And more often than not, they tend to prioritize these fucking trash characters that nobody fucking cares about before they do the characters that they should be doing. This is both in the case of Marvel and DC. Both of them are fucking up in the same ways and in different ways. So the Ripperverse is a breath of fresh air. And I think that you should look into it too if you like comic books. And if you're not into comic books, just understand that when you're dealing with true comic book fans, meaning individuals that try to read as many comic books as they can, different genres, they just they just enjoy the idea of reading about these amazing characters that you don't have in real life because most humans are trash. So just understand that. And if you don't, it is what it is. But I think that's why the Ripperverse is successful. It's already very successful because there's no bullshit. They ain't, you know, Eric July and those working with him, they ain't trying to lie to you. They ain't trying to deceive you and make it seem like one thing, but then you get another. There ain't no politics. There's no bait and switch. Like how you get with like something like the Hawkeye show. You think it's about Clint Barton, but it's really about fucking Kate Bishop. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't be doing goofy shit like that. So sit back, relax, and understand that the Ripperverse is here to stay. And it's only going to get bigger from here. And then even if it happens to fail later on down the line, you still have to respect Eric July for putting his money and his talent where his mouth is. And where his mind is at, and he actually got out there and created a comic book. You know, he created a comic book universe. A lot of humans, they do a bunch of talking, but they're not about that. They also don't have the talent to do it. So as far as I'm concerned, if you really look at it from a technical standpoint, this man can't fail because he's already succeeded by doing something special. Something where it reminds us comic book readers of how comic books used to be which is, you know, they used to be fun. You didn't have motherfuckers preaching at you and making you feel bad for being a certain gender or ethnicity or religious background. It's bullshit. But yeah, again, I can't wait to read Isom number one. Terrence out.